Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to some more car build and tune in episodes leading all the way up to Christmas. It's the 24th, it's Christmas Eve. Um, not feeling festive one little bit. It don't even feel like Christmas, but I don't know about you guys if you're, you're feeling a little bit Christmassy, but to be honest, I'm just feeling the same as normal. <laughs> so yeah, on to the episode. Uh, last episode we made this. Uh, murdered out Mercedes C63 AMG. Um, it looks absolutely sick. Uh, probably the best looking car I've made um, leading up to Christmas so it looks absolutely wicked so if you haven't checked that out I recommend you do go check that out and also in the comments below um, there'll be one day left one day left um, Christmas day tomorrow um, hopefully I'll be able to get a video done if I don't get a video done I do apologize but I'll get one done on boxing day for you guys um, so just see it as kind of number 25 but I'll, I'll try and get it done but everyone knows uh, that you're obviously busy on Christmas Day but I, I can try um, so yeah that is the car and one left so I need comments below uh, what car you want to see next episode um, it's the last one so make it a good one um, if you see a car that you like the look of um, give it a thumbs up and the one with most thumbs up will get chosen so the most thumbs up comment from last episode was a Ford Shelby GT500 put 750 horsepower in it and a Falcon paint on it as well so quite specific <laughs> not much I can do myself here uh, which kind of sucks but you know let's do it let's do it okay so here's the car Ford Shelby GT500 um, I always oh, press that button I don't know what it is about that button, like it doesn't even do anything, it just goes just goes into paint, but I never mean to press it, it just like sort of happens, like my finger just presses it. I, I just don't mean to press it, but yeah. <laughs> Let's try and see if there's a falcon paint in this note. Okay, so we're going to have to search for that, uh, but yeah, let's see what it's running. 662 horsepower as standard, so very, very powerful, but then it is a very heavy car. 1,700 kilograms in there, uh, so let's choose that. And hopefully we can search for a paint. Um, if I just search uh, Falcon, it uh, should come up. But let me just put Drift, and it should come up in Drift, to be fair. Um, Falcon is a very known Drift paint, so I'd have thought it would come up. And there's a lot of monster, but was that one? There we go. It's not really the... <laughs> oh, that's terrible looking. That looks terrible. I think we might have to go with it. Nope. Let's go with that. There we go. That looks a little bit, a little bit better. So, let's go with that. I don't like the colour of the rims, but YOLO. <laughs> and yeah, let's jump into the upgrades when this finally saves. Um, this car look. It's going to be interesting. It's got a very long wheelbase. It looks pretty heavy. Uh, I don't know what it gets down to with like weight reduction, etc. Uh, but hopefully, it gets a little bit lighter. Uh, but yeah, it's a muscle car. Muscle cars drift pretty well. Um, so we can see how this goes. Um, let's jump into garage now. Hey, Upgrades and Come custom upgrade. Let's fix her up. Okay, so engine I'm sticking stock. Uh, drivetrain. Oh, you can only have stock engine anyway. Uh, drivetrain will stick rear wheel drive. Um, aspiration. Uh, no. Let's just stick with a twin screw uh, supercharger as stock. Okay, body kits. I don't think there's going to be that many. Let's not do the Forza one. Uh, that wing is pretty nice, but let's not do that. Um, and onto the bonnet, let's not do any of those either. Okay, pretty simple. <laughs> okay, so stock tires, I'm sticking with stock tires. Um, let's go 265s on the front, leave that stock. And 285s on the rear, leave that stock as well. Um, rims, what rims are there? What rims can we throw on this? They look pretty. They look pretty sick. No, they don't. They look terrible. Um, <laughs> I always have a second look at these rims, and they're just like, no. <laughs> okay, let's go with those FKSE profile something profile five S. That's perfect. Okay, let's put those on. Let's upgrade the rim size up to twenty inch for for the extra little bit of aesthetics. Um, so that's already twenty inch on the rear. Uh, but let's go 21s. I think they're meant to be um, different anyway, so that's fine. Okay, now on to drivetrain. Everything in drivetrain is going to be race, so go through and put it race yourself. Uh, watch out on transmission, because there is a Storm Island uh, transmition that kills yourself, basically. You just die. <laughs> so yeah, 
race differential on here as well. And that is all the upgrades in there. Into platform and handling. Race brakes, we want to stop. Um, suspension. Race suspension. Do not do the Storm Island one. Well, unless you want to drift on Storm Island, go for it. Um, and race anti roll bars on there too. Uh, for the rear as well. Oh my god. And come out of there into reinforcement ship. Let's roll cage it. Let's roll cage it. Let's do that. And race weight reduction. What does it take us down to? 1,400 kilos. So nearly one of our heaviest cars to be fair. About the same weight as uh, the Mercedes we just done. So pretty heavy car to be honest. Pretty heavy car. Uh, so we need to get this up to 750 horsepower. I'll do exhaust and air filter for the starters. Um, cam camshaft should push this up very nicely. Uh, 747 horsepower. Basically that is it. Uh, 750 horsepower. That is pretty much spot on. So let's do the race flywheel on here as well, um, and that is all the upgrades done. So let's jump out into free roam. Um, we've got the paint, yeah, probably not the best looking paint um, in terms of replica, but it's okay, we'll deal with it. Um, that's you that. So let's jump into the map, and let's head down to the industrial area down here, um, the dock place. The docks, yeah, the docks, bro. Um, so yeah. Appreciate all the support on this and I hope you all have an amazing Christmas if I do not get a video out tomorrow. But if I do, um, hope you all have a good Christmas and hope you get what you wanted. Uh -huh. <laughs> so yeah, let's get back to this. It's raining. Not surprised to be honest. It always rains when I record. So. It was pretty, pretty, pretty sluggish there. Once it's sideways, it feels a lot better though. Um, I'm going to have to shorten the gears a lot. Um, so I'm going to do that first. So let me go into here and shorten the gears up. Uh, cars, there we go. Tune car. So, look, they're not even on the screen. Like, why does it do that, to be fair? Like, why Why you do this? Um, so let's just make it look like it's on the screen. That should be short enough. It should be sufficient. Um, so let's just do that for now. See how that feels. Seen as it is a Mustang, uh, it's got a, little, a long wheelbase, um, so I'm not surprised it's drifting, drifting well. Uh, all long wheelbase cars, they're very good. Uh, but the only thing, oh god, the only thing they're pretty terrible at is transitions, but. I don't know, this doesn't feel too bad in transitions. Um, it's got the weight behind it, so you can throw the weight through the transition. Uh, but yeah, that felt very stable sideways, so pretty much hit the nail on the head with the upgrades. Um, in terms of the tune, I don't think there's going to be uh, big changes to this, because that felt, as I said, pretty nice. So Let's jump into tune, chain, uh, tune car and just put a very, very bass tune onto this. Um, we can up the camber in the rear. Uh, just a tiny bit. We don't really need to, to be honest. Uh, see, as it felt pretty good. Uh, cars, so we go 5.5. Anti roll bars bring up the rear a tiny smidge. Springs, pretty. Mm, it's not as stiff as I would like it, so I'm going to go a little bit stiffer. Um, I like my cars pretty stiff, so let's do that. Why is it taking so long? Scroll up quicker. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you all for listening. Anyway, ride height all the way to the bottom. Damping, pretty stiff already. Uh, bump sniff has come down a tiny smidge. Differential 1%, 100%. So, to be honest, not much changes there. Uh, but I don't think this car really needs it. Uh, it's got the weight for the stability. It's got the power for basically pulling it itself and spinning up the tyres. So, to be honest, pretty easy car to tune this one. You know, seeing on Horizon 2, you can just you could drift any car right out of the box anyway, so you don't really need to upgrade it to be honest. So pretty simple there. Uh, but yeah, it feels very stable, which is a very good thing. It's got the power as well. Uh, but yeah, for the amount of power it has, it does feel it does feel a lot more stable than it should, uh, which is good. But I think the weight is kind of counteracting uh, the power just a tiny bit, which helps. Uh, because if we had this power in say like a 1,200 kilos, I think it'd be a little bit more, 
little bit more unpredictable, but this weight hits it right on the spot with this amount of power, um, and it's got the power to just spin up the tyres easily. Um, so, pretty simple. Even in the rain, it feels very good sideways, um, which is probably one thing I normally struggle with, actually. Um, in the rain, uh, the cars are normally a bit looser, but this just feels absolutely spot on in the rain. Just as I say that, I'll probably spin out, but, you know. There we go. <laughs> ah, saved it. No one saw me just, like, mess up there. It's fine. <laughs> so, yeah. Very nice car. Um, don't see the point of changing the tune at all. Um, it feels absolutely fine how it is. Uh, so let's just let's just give it one more run. Um, don't want to end it too short. Uh, but this will be a short episode. I do apologise, but there's, no, there's just no changes needed to this car at all. It just feels spot on. It's got the weight. It's got the power. Um, it's got the stability. So there's enough. There's no need to change anything when it works. Uh, it's a bit ridiculous to do that. Um, so yeah, feels very nice. It feels pretty smooth. Like when you look at it, it's drifting very smooth. Um, well, this paint's slowly growing on me actually, uh, but you can't really see it from the from the rear. So that's that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. And what I will do when I get to the end here, I will upload this tune onto the storefront. Very simple tune to do yourselves. Uh, just do the upgrades and you'll be able to drift it straight out of the box. Just do slight adjustments to, to match your needs. But if you don't want to do it yourself, uh, I will upload this onto the storefront for you to download. Uh, it saves you going through and putting all the upgrades on. Uh, so I'll just put drift there. All we have to do is go into the storefront, uh, just type in my game tag, which is Kevin Toll, the same as my YouTube, and you'll be able to download this pretty sharpish. Um, saves doing it yourself uh, for lazy people like me. Yeah, so let's do that. Let's share that, and that is all up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Apologize for the short episode, but what's the point of changing something that works, huh? So yeah, see you guys next time.